Pepper and George are very excited today. It is snowing outside. <coughs> Mummy, can we go and play in the snow? <coughs> yes, but it's very cold outside, so you must wrap up warm. Hooray! <laughs> and don't forget to wear your hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> it is very cold outside. Pepper and George must wear their hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are making footprints in the snow. <laughs> Pepper and George love making footprints in the snow. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a lot of fun. George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. George. <laughs> George, let's build a snowman. <laughs> Pepper and George are making a snowman. First they make the body. George, this is the snowman's body. Now they make the snowman's head. Now he needs arms and eyes and a mouth. George has found some sticks for the snowman's arms. Pepper has found some stones for the snowman's eyes and mouth. This is his face. Now the snowman needs a nose. Pepper has got a carrot to make the snowman's nose. The snowman looks very happy, but maybe he is a bit cold. The snowman needs some clothes to keep it warm. <laughs> George has found some clothes to keep the snowman nice and warm. The snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Mummy, Daddy, come and look. Mummy Pig is wearing her hat and scarf and gloves. That is the best snowman I have ever seen. <laughs> Daddy Pig looks quite cold. He isn't wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Achoo! Daddy, why aren't you wearing your hat and scarf and gloves? I don't know where they are. I can't find them anywhere. I think I know where Daddy's hat, scarf and gloves are. Daddy Pig's hat and scarf and gloves are on the snowman. Oh! The sun is shining. It is a very hot day. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh, dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling 
pool. <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. Yeah, So oily and yucky. Yuck! <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh! <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Pepper and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy, can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. The same for me, and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur! Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh, dear. George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> It is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's dip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. Whoa! <laughs> what happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we dip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> look, the puzzles are back. Quick, George, let's get our boots. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. <laughs> Peppa and George love the hot day, but most of all, they love jumping up and down in puddles. <laughs> Babysitting. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going out for the evening. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are going to babysit. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Thank you, Yig! Papa Yig! Hello, my little ones! Hello! Pepper, George, into your beds, quick! <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night, sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> what little darlings! Now go to sleep quickly. Yes, Mummy. So well behaved. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are leaving for their evening out. Peppa 
Mother and George are so good. They just fell asleep when Mummy Pig told them to. This babysitting is easy. George? George, are you awake? <laughs> 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 what strange noises. I wonder if we should check upstairs. <laughs> 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 Papa! George! Are you awake? Well, I never. Fast asleep. So, it wasn't Pepper and George making all that noise. I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. Gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh, I love gardening programs. The gift skate is a particularly thorny rose. To prune it, start by lopping off the head and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig. Pepper? George? You should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Ooh, this programme is very boring. Ooh. Grandpa Pig? Can you play that game where you throw us up and catch us? OK, but just one turn each. <laughs> Whee! Oh, oh. oh, you seem heavier than before. <laughs> now it's George's turn. Whee! <laughs> My turn. Whee! <laughs> oh. Higher, higher. <laughs> Whee! Maybe Grandpa Pig is a bit tired. I know. <coughs> Granny Pig, let's play catch. Uh... <laughs> You're it. Catch us if you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep. Hello. Anyone here? <laughs> the little piggies are asleep, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> <laughs> At the beach. Pepper and her family are going to the beach. Pepper and George love going to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> what a lot of stuff. We must be careful not to forget anything when we go. <laughs> Sunshade, beach bag, towels, buckets and spades, and a spotty ball. Good. Now, before you start playing, you need some sun cream on. <laughs> the sun is very hot, so Pepper and George have to have sun cream on. Let's try out this spotty ball. It seems to work. <laughs> what a great spotty ball. <laughs> George, you throw the ball and I will catch it. <laughs> George, catch! Oh dear, George is too little to catch the ball. <laughs> Never mind, George. Would you and Pepper like to have a paddle in the sea? Yes, please, Daddy. <laughs> Let's put your water wings on. There we go. You look very smart in your water wings, George. <laughs> my turn, my turn. 
Good. <laughs> now we can play in the water. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. Steady on. <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First, we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time. Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. Towels, beach bag, sunshade and the spotty ball. That's everything. I'm sure we've forgotten something. Hmm. <laughs> of course, we forgot the hat. <laughs> Daddy! We forgot Daddy! Oh, yes! We forgot Daddy Pig. Eh? Uh, uh, what? Daddy, we almost left you behind. But George remembered you. <laughs> well, I'm glad George remembered me. <laughs> Daddy's movie camera. Mr Zebra, the postman, is delivering a parcel to Pepper's house. Parcel for you, Mr Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Look, I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Dinosaur! Oh, George, <laughs> you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> The parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm. I think it's a... Uh, a new toy. You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera. A new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Can I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. Hmm. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Pepper. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? I'm not sure. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing... Now it won't talk anymore. Well done, Peppa. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, Peppa. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. 
Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Okay. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> Maybe we should film something new. I know. Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way. Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished. You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Peppa. Let's see George's movie first. <coughs> dinosaur! Grrr. George is pretending to be a dinosaur. Grrr. That's a very scary dinosaur. <coughs> oh dear, George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. <coughs> <laughs> now, let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa's playgroup are going to put on a play. The Little Red Riding Hood. Hooray! All the children have parts in the play. They have to practice at home. <laughs> Peppa is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. <coughs> Mummy Pig has made her costume. Daddy Pig is helping Peppa practice. <coughs> OK, Peppa, what do you say? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Very good. Then what? Um... I'm going to visit my grandma. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa! Danny Dog is going to play the big bad wolf. <coughs> Grandad Dog and Mummy Dog are helping him practice. On the big bad wolf. <laughs> Try not to laugh, Danny. You should be a bit scarier. Try it like this, Danny. <clears throat> I'm the big bad wolf. I'm going to eat you all up! <laughs> You see? Yes, that was really scary. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Pepper from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the hunter and... Pedro is a bit shy. Nay. <laughs> you say, I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf. Um, go away, naughty wolf. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, Mummy? Let's see. At the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you are rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. <coughs> thank you. Very good, Rebecca. <laughs> Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. <laughs> please, please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. 
And now, our play begins. <laughs> Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? <laughs> On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! Um... Oh, dear. Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. Go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Ooh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Peppa. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my grandma. <laughs> what big eyes do you have? <laughs> what big teeth do you have? <gasps> you are not grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! <gasps> but look who is here. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Help! Oh, help! Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> oh, save you, Grandma. Hooray! <clears throat> Thank you. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Pedro, you were very good. <laughs> You are almost as good as me. <laughs> Pancakes. It is tea time, and Mummy Pig has a surprise for everyone. Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes. Delicious. <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <laughs> Yes, you can help me make the batter. First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> No, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. Delicious! This pancake is for Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> Is everyone watching? 
The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> a one, two, three, whoopla! <gasps> Silly Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <laughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. <laughs> this way. What is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> it worked. Now Daddy Pig has his pancake. Daddy has a pancake on his head. <laughs> mm. Syrup on your pancake, Daddy Pig? Yes, please. <laughs> One, two, three. Hoopla! Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Lunch. <laughs> Pepper and George have come to Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. My little ones, would you like to pick some vegetables from the garden for lunch? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, Pepper, George. This is Grandpa Pig's vegetable garden. He has grown all these vegetables himself. <laughs> What's this? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? <laughs> Let's choose some vegetables for lunch. <laughs> Pepper, do you like tomatoes? Yes, Grandpa Pig. George, do you like tomatoes? No. George does not like tomatoes. Oh, dear. Do you both like lettuce? Yes, Grandpa Pig. No. George does not like lettuce. Oh, dear. I must have something that George likes. Do you like cucumber? Yuck. George does not like cucumbers, and he does not like lettuce, and he does not like tomatoes. Well, George, what vegetable do you like? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Silly George. Chocolate cake isn't a vegetable. <laughs> Maybe George will like the vegetables when they're made into a lovely salad. <laughs> oh, lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. First, we have to wash them. Pepper and George help Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad. Made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Tuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George. Just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. 
Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> <coughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> Fancy dress party! Pepper and George are having a fancy dress party. All their friends are invited. Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. And George is dressed as a dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Pepper's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? <laughs> I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. What are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Papa. Papa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <laughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> you are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <Grr. laughs> Oh, dear. George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me. <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge. I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? The judge decides who has the best costume. Oh, goody! Pepper is going to choose who has the best costume. Susie, can I see your costume, please? Meh. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. I make people better. Very good, Nurse Susie. <laughs> now, Danny? <laughs> I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Now, Candy. Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Well, I'm a fairy princess and I can turn you into a frog. <laughs> children, children. Sorry, Mummy. Who's next? I'm a clown. 
<laughs> That's funny. And Rebecca? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and my little brother George is a scary dinosaur. Grrr. Everyone's costume is very good. Hooray! <laughs> now you say who the winner is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the winner is... me. Oh. <gasps> Peppa, you can't pick yourself. You're the judge. Oh, can't I? You have to pick another winner. OK. The carrot wins. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> Peppa loves fancy dress parties. Everyone loves fancy dress parties. <laughs> Pepper and her family are going to the museum. <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes, even older than me. Ooh, really old. <laughs> <laughs> There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> I want to see the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow! Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. Wow! Dinosaur? But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <laughs> Pepper, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Peppa, this is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? <coughs> but they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. What did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Pepper imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Pepper? Yes, more cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your Daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <Grrr. laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. 
And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is going to her first ballet lesson. This is Madame Gazelle, the ballet teacher. Oh, you must be young Peppa. I am Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame. Oh, so sweet. Welcome to your first lesson of the ballet. <laughs> I'll pick you up later. Bye-bye. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Children, today we have a new pupil, Peppa Pig. Now, Peppa, run and join your friends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Children, <laughs> we begin with Demi Plié. Demi Plié. Now a little jump. Petit jeté. With grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. <laughs> the ballet lesson is a lot of fun. Raise your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? Meow. Nay. Oh. Grace and beauty. Peppa loves dancing. Everyone loves dancing. <laughs> Danced as swans. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye bye. Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George and Mummy will find it very hard. First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should leave the ballet to Peppa. Yes. I am the best at it. I am a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> Up. 
Peppa and George are in their bedroom playing with their toys. George, let's play dollies and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It looks like a horrible monster. Dinosaur. <laughs> Daddy Pig is in the sitting room reading his newspaper. Mummy Pig is reading her book. What are they doing? Ah, help! Help! <laughs> Pepper! George! What's going on? <laughs> what's all this noise? Wow! Help! Oh! oh. Is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear, poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> well done, George. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Daddy, George, you've stopped tidying up. You'll lose the race. <laughs> oh, yes, the race. Come on, George, put this back on the bookshelf. <laughs> Daddy, you're very slow at tidying up. Mummy and I are going to win. No, we're going to win. <laughs> we win. No, we win. <laughs> we all win. Look how tidy the room is. Hooray! What a tidy room. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Mummy, now that we've tidied our room, can we play dollies and dinosaurs again? Yes, you can carry on with your game now. Yippee! Where are my dolls? Where is Mr. Dinosaur? <laughs> Here they are. Grrr. Dinosaur. Ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Help! Oh, dear. The room is untidy again. Oh. Oh. Well, at least it was tidy for a bit. <laughs> Daddy puts up a picture. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a new picture of Pepper and George. We should put this lovely new picture on the wall. Leave it to me. I am the DIY expert of the house. Are you sure you can do it? Of course. I'll just put a nail in the wall and hang the picture on it. Very good. I'm just off to visit Granny and Grandpa Pig. I'll see you later. 
And please don't make a mess. Mess? <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Daddy, can we help put up the picture? You can watch, and then you'll learn how to do it properly. First, I need a tape measure. And a pencil. That is where I'm going to put the nail. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> now I need a hammer and a nail. Stand back, children, and watch a craftsman at work. Daddy Pig is going to knock the nail into the wall. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. <laughs> Easy as pie. Oh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly, Pepper. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! Oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> Quick, George. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. <laughs> this is pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> but look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. Mummy Pig is home. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! Quick, pretend nothing has happened. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what have you been doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought you were going to put the picture up. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm sure it's quite easy. There. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy. But when you did it, Daddy, it looked really hard. Shush, Pepper, don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 Boat. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are taking Pepper and George out for a day on the river. Welcome aboard, me hearties. Pepper, George, let's put your life jackets on. <laughs> when Pepper and George are on Grandpa Pig's boat, they must wear life jackets. On this boat, I'm the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> when Captain Grandpa tells you all to do something, you must do it. Unless it's something silly. Captain Grandpa never says anything silly. Of course not, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain. Granny Pig, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Full 
sail. Maybe you should go a little slower, Grandpa Pig. Good idea, Granny Pig. I don't want to use up all my petrol. Grandpa, I liked it when you went fast. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll go fast later. Look! There's another boat! Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog! Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Hello, Danny. Hello, Pippa. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Grandad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket a day, Grandpa Pig. All right, you old sea dog. Race you. Prepare to lose, water hog. <laughs> You two are acting like little children. <laughs> Grandad Dog called me a water hog. You called him a sea dog first, Grandpa. You should say sorry. Only if he says sorry first. Grandad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. He's your best friend. No, he's a water hog and my boat is faster than his. All right, Sea Dog, let's race to the next bridge. On the count of three. One, two. Go! You started too soon. Catch me if you can, Water Hog. Sea Dog. Is that as fast as you can go? Can't catch me. <laughs> I win! Oh dear, Grandpa Pig's boat has run out of petrol. Very clever, Captain Grandpa. Maybe I did go a bit too fast. How will we get home? Look, there's Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog can tow us home. I'm not being towed by that sea dog. I haven't offered to tow the water hog. <sighs> Will you two ever grow up? Grandpa, say sorry to Grandad Dog. I'm sorry I called you a sea dog. Grandad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. I'm sorry I called you a water hog. That's nice. Grandad Dog, would you be so kind as to tow us home? It would be my pleasure, madame. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> Grandad Dog is towing Grandpa Pig's boat home. The main thing is, I won the race. Grandpa Pig! <laughs> Naughty Grandpa Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell! Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa! <laughs> 